channel guys good morning by the title of this video you already know what I'm gonna be talking about today I'm going to show you my mornings with Jesus the reason I'm doing this video is because I know that like when I first was a baby Christian I didn't know exactly how to spend time with Jesus so like I was like you just talk to him you read your Bible like what do you do so I figured I'd make a video showing you guys what I do doesn't mean what I do is the only way you can do it obviously um, but I know some people have no idea even where to start so here are a couple things that I do and maybe it'll give someone inspiration or motivation to get back into the word. Disclaimer, you don't have to do everything I do or you maybe you even do more. That's cool. Like this works for me and I'm just hoping and I'm praying that this video reaches people who it needs to reach. I'm going to start my video being real with you. So I'm not your typical wake up at 5 in the morning Christian girl. I woke up at 6.30 and then I didn't get my day started until like 9.00. Just super important to start your day with Jesus. I just highly recommend that. But keep learning from experience that like when I don't start my day with Jesus, things do not go well for me. Anyways guys, so I already made my tea. So I start every morning with a cup of tea. And if you watch my other videos, you already know that. I do not drink coffee. I think it's disgusting and smell is nasty. I usually just sip on this. You guys like my sweater? It says prayer changes everything. Hill City Threads sent me this sweatshirt. It's super cute, it's a crew neck, it's like a coral pink. I'm in love with it. Definitely go check them out. I will leave their information in the description box. Yeah guys, we are gonna get into this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like seeing this kind of content or don't like, whatever you wanna do. And I will see you guys in the living room. This right here is where it's been my Jesus time. Something I do recommend though is having a spot every day where you go because it just becomes a routine and this is like a very reliable spot. I know that like it's always gonna be open and it's comfy. So as for the things I use for my Bible study, I keep it all right here on this little table, which I'm gonna show you. I have this little stand and everything is kept right here. I have my devotional, my journal, my Bible study, and I just keep it right here next to my little prayer area because this insight in mind kind of thing. So while I'm sipping on my tea, the first thing I do is kind of have worship time. So I like to spend time just worshiping God. For me personally, rather than like asking for things first thing in the morning, this is just me personally. I like to just praise God and worship him. And then, you know, little by little, I start praying over certain things or like spend my first like maybe 10, 15 minutes of like the worship song and just worshiping God. I recommend just sitting in God's presence too. So the first thing I do is actually go on YouTube. I'll go on YouTube and I will just pick some worship song. I personally prefer live worship rather than just like a studio version. I usually do the ones that are like more than 10 minutes. But if you can see, I literally just go to live worship. Here we go, all hail King Jesus, Red Rocks Worship. We're gonna do that one. So basically I'm gonna hit this one and then just kind of sip on my tea to get like, you know, get going. So yeah guys, let's worship. Man, I feel good. This is like when I start my prayer time. What I'm gonna do is put instrumental worship on. I started doing this like a couple, maybe a month ago. It has helped so much. So if you get distracted easily, I highly recommend this. So this is what I'll do. It's this easy. Worship instrumental, and then just pick any of them. Let's go to any of these prayer ones. Um, again, I'm not gonna play it because copyright issues. And you can tell I sit in this corner a lot because like, this bad boy is like going through it. So I'm not gonna play the music right now because I don't want to get copyrighted, but I'm gonna tell you what I do. So the first thing I do is I have this prayer journal and it's literally just an empty journal. And mainly because I like to keep track of my prayers. It's nice to like go back and look at like what God's answered or things I still need to be praying over. I don't even fill up a whole page or anything. This is kind of like my prayers slash praises. But I find when I'm like actively writing, it does help me like get more focused, I guess. So I will do that. And then the next thing I do is my devotionals. Like I just do one devotional a day. I'll have like kind of like a theme and then I'll have like scripture and then she kind of just talks through her experience. And then there's a prayer at the end you can pray. 
that's kind of like what a devotional is. The author who's writing it, it goes through their personal experience. That way they can somehow relate. She's my age, so like the things she goes through are similar things that I go through. So it's just nice to like read that, like you're not alone going through those things. And that's why devotionals do help a lot. Definitely recommend getting a devotional. And if you're looking for one, there's this one or her uh, other devotional called Live. It's a pink book. I have it. It's up there. I'm too lazy to get it. If you guys have certain devotionals that you love, please comment them so I know which ones to check out next. And then before I get into the word of God, I like to pray and just ask for the presence of God to just help me understand his word and just invite the Holy Spirit into it. And I ask God to like help me retain the information. I ask God to help me use the information. And that's a big thing. Like I never used to pray over reading, but I feel like that's why I used to get so frustrated because I couldn't understand it. You know what I mean? So now I just ask God for wisdom. And when you ask God for wisdom, it ain't like he's not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna walk you guys through the type of Bible I have because some people, ah! I know that picking out a Bible can be very intimidating. And I just wanna show you guys what has helped me with getting a Bible. So this is what my Bible looks like. The Women's Study Bible. I have an NIV Women's Study Bible. They talk about the women of the Bible and they talk about, you know, the, the role they played in that part of scripture. So, for example, so if you look at it right here, in scripture they're talking about Ezekiel and all that and then this talks the wife of Ezekiel. It'll kind of just say a passage about her and that way you're able to understand her a little bit more. And then another thing I love about my Women's Study Bible is that it has like these little, these aren't scripture but they're like kind of like little encouragement messages on here and then obviously all of what Jesus says is written in red. Even if you don't have a devotional book, they do already have devotionals in there. So whatever you're reading about, it'll kind of have a devotion about it. And then again, here is like the little parts of like encouragement. And then it talks about women's ministry, but everything is from like women's perspective kind of thing. And then at the bottom, that's where it kind of does the study part. So it will talk about what you're reading, but in a way that like, you and I would understand it. Like it goes in depth of like what is happening. So um, it does just kind of like break it down even more for you. And something I haven't done in a long time, but I do recommend is kind of just studying that. So like, that's when I kind of go into like studying it. And like, I write down like everything like, oh, this is what this meant at this time, or this is why this is who this person is. And like, almost like studying like you're in school, but yeah. So currently I am reading in Corinthians. I just started Corinthians. I typically like to read one chapter a day. So I try just to read one chapter, sometimes even less, and just like focus on that. Oh, also one more thing, it's tons of audiobooks. So like if you have a hard time reading or like you struggle with dyslexia or anything like that, the Bible app has like an audiobook. You can just play it while you read. Or if you don't have a Bible, just use the, the Bible app. And then on YouTube, there is actually a theatrical version of an audiobook and it kind of like really helps like understand so highly recommend that if you guys are looking for like an audiobook kind of thing. yeah guys so that is basically my little bible study i hope this helps somebody if you guys have any questions about anything please leave me a comment or shoot me a message on instagram yeah it's nothing too fancy I, I just figured that maybe this would help somebody or encourage somebody like different ways to like kind of spend time with jesus don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye